What's up you amazing hackers, hope you're all doing well today and welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to go over the Yes We Hack Bug Bounty report. Chances are that I won't be going over it in full, I might be skipping a few things here or there. But I thought it would be interesting for the channel to see what type of vulnerabilities that are out there. Um, in this case you can see a little bit of the evolution of Yes We Hack and I'll go over that for sure. The Bug Bounty Boom putting success in the customer success management, meeting the head of CSM. Um, I'd skip over that, no offense, but that's probably not interesting for the channel. Then the bug bounty vulnerability trends, that's gonna be very interesting to look at. Um, and of course, honoring our Hunters DS, we hack Hall of Fame. I want to look at that as well. On top of that, they added how to succeed as a bug bounty hunter, and then the dojo for helping hunters hone their skills. We'll go over that as well. Some live hacking events, a banner year for in-person bug hunts and bug bounty and the challenge of securing open source on top of that. Last part is the top seven takeaways from our bug bounty report. So as I said in the introduction, I'm gonna very quickly go over, yes, we hack here, launching in 2015, um, then moving on to 2019, we see the French Armed Forces Ministry launching a bug bounty program, a series of A funding happening, a vulnerability disclosure policy product launched, Singapore offices opened. 2020, the dojo for the hunter training platform, and a really good platform, by the way, I'll go over that. 2021, series B funding with a pen test management product launched. And then in 2022, we got the Hack Me, I'm Famous number one inaugural edition of the live hacking event featuring multiple brands. 2023, the launch of the attack service management product. 2024, the onboarding of the GovTech, Singapore's government technology. Hack Me, I'm Famous number two with Louis Vuitton and Series C funding. We have other live hacking events featuring L'Oreal, Ferrero, Banco, Galicia and Group Cas de Depot. So if we go over, yes, we hack for just one moment. I, I just want to go to the website itself. If you haven't gotten there yet, they have some great bug bounty programs. Um, and there is a website as well called Fire Bounty, which is managed by them. As you can see, they have a very similar logo. Here you can have and they list basically any vulnerability disclosure, any bug bounty program out there with a total of 52,000 bug bounty policies found. So if you can't find your way in there, then what the fuck are you doing, right? But here, as you can see, Yes We Hack is not only the hacking site itself where you can do bug bounties, of course, but they also have the dojo. And this is the Yes We Hack Dojo with different uh, vulnerability training modules. How great is that all for free? So that, that's amazing. Definitely something if you are interested in bug bounties to go to, uh, especially if you're just starting out. They have a great selection of vulnerabilities there. But also if you're like a little bit more advanced and you're just wanting to hone your skills a little bit more, look at all of the vulnerabilities here. You can see that they have insecure deserialization, SSTI. They have WAP bypasses for filter collision. That's a really good vulnerability, by the way. Exclude spaces, the encoding, transformations. So these are some really good modules for you if you're ever bored and you want to learn vulnerabilities. If you ever like, if you're ever challenged by some kind of WAF, great modules here. Let's go back to the bug bounty boom here. We know that bug bounty programs are on the rise and we know that, I mean, you're watching my channel. That's not something that I'm going to have to go in depth about. The top bug bounty payout for 2024 was 50,000 with the average being 600 euros and for criticals being 2,100 euros if you're interested in those numbers. So here, once again, we're going to probably skip over this section about the day and we'll immediately go to the bug bounty vulnerability trends. So let's look at the top five biggest payouts. We have a 50k for an IDOR, love IDORs as you might know. Then we have a CWE 200 information disclosure, 21,000 euros for an information disclosure. We have improper access control, 20,000. We have an OS command injection, good job on that twice. 
to OS command injections worth 20,000 euros. That's fantastic. The most common bug types that were found were XSS, which is surprisingly awesome. Then we have improper access control, information disclosure, IDOR was very common and business logic errors as well. Very simple example of that. You might be asked, let's do a little bit of a calculation of the distance and based upon the amount of kilometers you'll get paid back a certain amount in reimbursement. The client side calculation of that would be wrong, of course. The server needs to calculate the distance between two points, but that's a business logic vulnerability that I found, just a simple example of it. All right, so the percentage increases of bug bounty of reports produced collaboratively. So collab reports went up by 120% from 2023, which is great. Valid reports by severity, we have 15% with low severity. So this shows that a lot of people, they'll look at, oh, does a program pay out for low vulnerability types? That's not something you should really be focusing on because you're only focusing on 15% of the vulnerabilities that are valid. 65 per or 56% of the vulnerabilities are in the medium class and 19 in the high with 10% being in the criticals. The dupe rate is 13%. I'm just, I always say dupes are not invalid vulnerabilities. It just means that there is somebody before you. Yes, we hack has a first response SLA for reports of two business days and a first response achieved of five to six hours average, which is really freaking great. The rule over triager, well, we know what they do, but if you're interested in that, I mean, just feel free to go ahead. Then we have the honoring our hunters, the yes, we hack hall of fame. That is really important, of course. First of all, a big congratulations to Rabi for being the first in the 2024 rankings, followed by Excel, which wasn't even close. Rabi completely fucking dominated this leaderboard with 17,000 points, with second being Excel. Congratulations on that. And we have Boxer being the third one with 4,523 points. Points. Yes, we had growing into a very big and very reasonable platform, something not to be messed with and to be investigated, I would say. So, Robbie, how did you become a hacker? My involvement in hacking came from curiosity and a desire to experiment. I was fascinated by the idea of understanding systems and finding ways around them. My earliest success reporting vulnerabilities to Zatas.com reinforced my desire to specialize in hacking. When I started out in bug bounties, I reported vulnerabilities to companies like Yahoo and PayPal. Over time, I developed a taste for more competitive programs, such as Google's, where making the top 10 was a defining experience. I can imagine. Holy crap, congratulations. The first time I discovered a flaw in Google's program, I spent a sleepless night wondering whether it would be accepted or not. That experience, a mixture of excitement and uncertainty, remains engraved in my memory as a key stage in my progress. We can imagine, there we go, good job on that. If you want to read the full interview with Rabi, I will put that as well in the, I will just put a link to this report in the description. And you can see that Rabi has been dominating even the all time leaderboards with 50,000 points more than his closest competitor, RB Cafe. Excel also being on the top leaderboard there. Congratulations once again, a good, achievement great to see that everybody is participating so well but also actually being rewarded for their participation and growing with the platform i think it's really important that was when a platform grows their hunters grow with the platform and we can clearly see that that's the case here good job for that as well on yes we hack this part so the overall leaderboards Top 10 hunters for Q or top three hunters for Q1 were Rabi. Uh, then we have Noam Edra. Then Noam and Edra were uh, dethroned by Sicarius and Gurumitia. Mita. So, by the way, guys, what you'll often see as well with these leaderboards is that sometimes people they like compete for a quarter and then they'll stop hunting for a little bit or they might like compete for a longer time and then at a certain period they'll be like okay now after a year i don't want to compete for the last month and then they'll just stagnate in points it's possible you know 
So that's why you'll probably see some people also being dethroned sometimes. But you can see that sometimes it's also a clearly close call between second and third. Never between first and second or s something like that though. Robbie is clearly the number one hunter for XSS, which is freaking awesome. Congratulations, Robbie. Hope I can interview you someday. We have Xel and Solankip, the number one hunters for cryptographic issues. And we have ByteX with the number one hunter for clear text storage of insensitive information. SQL injection number one hunter Noam. Then we have 0x Senpai with the number one hunter for improper access control. SSDI being Supra, Supras. And we have K294 with business logic error. Then we have code jump for cache poisoning bugs. XXE was Saga, Sagar Banwa lead and then we have i care which is os command injections number one hunter on yes we hack this is great there's some magic methodology parts in here go through those um, definitely go to the one from the where is it supras here we go so we have code jumps magic methodology this guy for gosh poisoning bugs this is a vulnerability which is not that often looked at, spoken of, um, something that is not that hard to learn. Uh, it's a little bit more technical, but it's a great vulnerability if you want to take it a step further. And he takes about everything you need to be able to understand that properly. Business logic errors. This is a great one also by KT094 Business Logic is a complex vulnerability to understand. It's logic. Try teaching that to people, right? And then we have the top three hunters on public programs by number of valid reports being Ralph Spencer, Djamal Gorab, and we have HKTUNX. Uh, and then we have the all time top three hunters on open source scopes with Kaleri with 999 points, Medisec and Fubar in second and third there. How to succeed as Bug Bounty Hunter. This is also a great section that you should probably be going through. All of these people give their like takes on how they are succeeding in these all-time rankings and getting vulnerabilities. Excel one is also great. Stay creative, see what exists, come with your own approach, familiarize yourself with all the basic security concepts. This is summarized what I've been trying to teach everybody for God knows how long is to look at everybody's stuff and actually make your own thing out of it, but understand at least the basics of what you can accomplish or can get through. You need to invest time to be proficient, so don't give up. After some time, more and more vulnerabilities will come in and you'll get better at hunting. Great advice there. Go through all of them if you're going for bug bounties, by the way. Then the dojo, we've looked at the dojo a little bit as well. There are a few features that we haven't gone through, but that's okay. And the live hacking events. I won't go through all of the live hacking events either, but I hope this was a little bit useful to you at least. And I hope that this can give you some hope that XSS is not completely out of the picture yet. It's still there, it's still to be found, but you will have to put in the effort and yes, we hack is also a great platform. I mean, there are some multiple great bug bounty platforms out there. But if you don't want to go the bug bounty platform route, try Fire Bounty. Try the self-hosted programs. Maybe you could go Integrity. Maybe you could go with uh, bugbounty.jp. Maybe you could go with, um, yes, we, well, what the hell am I saying? Hacker One, of course. I mean, uh, there's so many different bug bounty platforms out there. And I think that we shouldn't, as hunters, keep to just one. There's just God knows how many pro like bug bounty platforms out there, self-hosted bug bounty programs out there. So go out and hunt. Go out and look for business logic vulnerabilities, either excesses and improper access controls, my amazing hackers, because I know that you have it in you, and I'm proud of you. Even if you're not proud of yourself yet, I fucking am. Go have a great time. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, amazing hackers.